Okay, so it's um, all unpinned and ready to try on. Um, what I'm in um, is a uh, Nike Pro combat top, um, and all this is um, is it's um, a Lycra sort of spandex top, and it's designed to deal with um, a lot of sweat um, and keep you cool, and it's um, also reasonably frictionless with other things that um, are on top of it and um, which once you're in this outfit you will start to eat up and um, I've I've done what I can in terms of incorporating areas where you can cool down particularly around the um, neck and sort of uh, wrists and um, armpits and stuff uh, but you will get hot so what I'm going to do now is I'm um, going to put this on to the um, outside skin of this and then um, take it off and try it on. Okay, so what I've done um, is I've just taken the top that was hanging there and, and just put it on the outfit um, and uh, what it does is it, is it just smooths out the edges um, and obviously the ugly bits are hidden but all of the uh, bumps um, are very visible through the suit and if this is going underneath spandex then it'll be ev even more uh, visible. So um, there's also a back uh, which looks good and um, I'm not entirely sure about that and um, that should just conform in when the spandex is on but what I might do is I might help that out with um, a bit of latex and just um, pin it to the arc of the armpit there but um, uh, all I'm going to do now is uh, put it on so I again and um, it might have seemed strange that um, I elected to put the zip up the front but from experience when the zip was going up the back and I was at um, a con or an exhibition then it was very difficult to just cool off when I wanted to I always needed someone's help to unzip me uh, so just gonna try it on Obviously we're um, going to be adding um, arms and shoulders but that's how easy it uh, goes on uh, which um, I've made a bit of a compromise with the appearance of the front to get the zip up the front but what you've got to remember is this is going on under a costume and if it's going on, on under a costume then the muscles are going to stretch the fabric out over the zip so it's um, going to look good. So I'll just give you a twirl. Okay, um, so what we're going to do next um, is we are going to do the um, shoulders and the arms in the following tutorials and then once we've done that we'll move on to the legs. Whilst I was in front of the camera I just thought um, I would sh show you an earlier prototype just to uh, give you an idea of where all of this is heading if you've not seen any of the pictures so um, obviously we've currently just uh, just built this part but um, we're going to be um, adding shoulders um, and an arm that's complete with a bicep and uh, and a tr tricep um, and something to give uh, the forearms a bit of bulk um, as I say this is from an earlier prototype so the um, the bunching that um, uh, that you're seeing there, I've eliminated that, um, and 
even in this top once there's something on top of the arm so whether it's um, spandex or a shirt or some thing else that just pulls in that edge there and all of the foam conforms to the shape of your arm so uh, next we're going to be working on the uh, deltoid and arm now uh, the deltoid is a piece on its own that's um, attached to the torso and it just floats around so that you're able to do that kind of thing um, and the arm then sits under it but isn't attached so that it won't tear um, when you're doing over the head poses so that's what we're gonna be working on next